Hello, welcome to Watch Us Play Gin Bummy. It's a game for two to four players, so we're going to play two players. We're going to use the scan deck. I'm taking four jokers out, one in each suit. And wife's going to shuffle because she's a better shuffler than me. And I don't know why I took that dice cup out. I guess I wanted to show the dice cup. But then I guess I found the uh, rummy card holders. And we're dealing ten cards to each player as normal. And the same rules apply as the rules in the Gin Bummy video. And we determined that I would go first. So I went ahead and deposited that three and collected the queen out of the bag. Something I really didn't cover in the video is that you can take cards from the discard pile, but you must have a number card in order to exchange. Otherwise, face cards could only be discarded. That's what she does. She discards a face card. So I discard a number card and take another card. That unfortunately gave me an ace, which is not good. Uh, so now I take th the next three cards. I get three different number cards. So now she gives me a nine, which I must take. And then I'm going to go ahead and deposit the nine right back. Then she gives me a two. And she declares bum. So she gets the first round as a victory. Now I'll go ahead and shuffle. Ten cards to each player. And this is just how we relaxed on a, I believe it was a Friday night. It was raining, I guess. I can't remember what the weather was like. Anyways, so, as always in Gin Bummy, your goal is to get down to four cards, numerical cards, each with a different suit, and each card has to have a different value. Now, this is not a four card mail that's in any other card game besides this game so it makes an interesting condition as long as you have four different numbers and uh, four different suits and those are the final four cards you have you can declare bum you're wanting to get jokers which makes the scan deck uh, very good for this game simply because you get some more information as far as what cards next So I'm going to go ahead and discard another number card. She'll discard an ace, take the next three cards. I'm looking like I'm in good shape. I went ahead and discarded the king. She'll discard a queen. I'll discard the jack. Yeah, it looks like I've achieved bum in my hand. It's just now a matter of time of getting rid of my card. So I'll go ahead and give the face card. She'll have to take that. And I called bum, and I managed to win. So now we're at one game apiece. I think we decided to play this like the World Series or something. I think we decided to do the best best of three or the best of seven. I can't remember what we ended up doing as a win condition. But uh, still got some more games on the scan deck to cover. I just need to film them, learn them, shoot them, film them. Uh, got some more domino solitaires I gotta film. Uh, some more domino games I gotta cover. And uh, it always seems like when I'm going through my week, I'm thinking, I got a lot of stuff I need to do for this channel. I got a lot of games I need to cover. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm having a race against time as far as how much I can cover versus uh, how many games there are yet to be covered. And hopefully... Uh, by the time my mission in life is done, I'll have uh, plenty of games covered. And uh, the more games I breathe life to by doing a video for, the more they get played. I'm hoping people out there are discovering the uh, joy, joys of uh, traditional gaming. Um, especially in games that hadn't really gotten the light of day. Because by the time these games were invented, either video games had taken over, computer games had made games so easy to learn that they became automated. But there's a lot of new card games out there. They're still getting um, created to this day. I see all the time Board Game Geek has inventors projects where they ask people to create card games using a standard deck. Maybe uh, print and play. There's just all sorts of stuff. Some of which we've covered. Um, there's one print and play 
uses a deck of cards I haven't covered yet. I think it's because I would need a different color dry erase marker. I just haven't printed the sheet yet, and I haven't covered the game, but in the future that will be done. Just a matter of time is all. So I'll take the ace. That gives me two jokers. That was an excellent lucky move. Now I'm going to go ahead and give away an ace. And I'll call Bum, and I managed to win two out of three, so I won the game. So if you actually want to attempt this in public, you know where to go. Card game meetups. Uh, post your city. Post what public place you want to do this at. Don't forget about our Discord channel. It's a very fun place. We talk about card games all day, every day. And if you want a better direct connection to me besides the comments section, you can just go there and tell me what game you want me to cover next. Remember to call your friends and ask them if they like to play some card games. You never know. They might say yes. They might say no. But it's good to call and uh, figure out what they want to do. And don't forget, this month we have a poll going on. There is an election for Game of the Month between the two selected candidates of Zwicker and Blockade. And don't worry, the uh, person conducting the counting is not in the polling room. I want to thank today's musician, uh, Isashi Arayama, uh, for his excellent trombone instrumental uh, composition. It's an original composition that he did. Just love uh, Japan and some of the stuff they produce, so definitely check out his channel. He's got a lot of interesting stuff, and I'll see you next video.